How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome yourselves back to another review, another video on the channel. As you guys can see today, we're going to run you through an objective since he, they dropped zero content tonight. I don't believe so anyways. Um, we're going to have a look at an objective. It's Javier Pastore. I actually unlocked him today, so I did this naturally. I didn't force it overnight or anything like that. And uh, we're going to explain why it's effective on this game if you change your style, which... I know a lot of you guys don't want to change your style, but you've got to realize a lot of these players are really, really usable. You just have to adapt your game style to suit them in. Now, this isn't everyone's taste or flavor or whatever the word or phrase is, but it's not bad. It's not bad. So we're going to have a look at this objective card today, which a lot of you will kind of presume he's a fodder material and he is actually quite usable. He is actually quite usable. So we're going to review him today and it seems icon moments and stuff like that I think will be coming from tomorrow. Uh, I've got Rui Costa ready. I just need to commentate that. What am I doing, lads? I'll probably commentate it tonight for you guys as well. But lads, if you do enjoy the content, you do enjoy the review, you know what to do. You bring that type, you smash the like, you subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. That's a bit of a, a phrase around here. But lads, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you do drop a like and make sure that you do drop a comment. I want to see your comments there. What do you think you have in your past story? A lot of you guys would have done him because he is an objective on this game and he is, what is it? Like, uh, is it number two now? It's not Squad Foundations 2, it is League Player. It's probably League Player 2, uh, League Player Pastore. Now, he comes in high-low work rates. Now, this is advantageous for cams on this game because you don't always want them to come back. You want them to stay forward on the front front. And for me, personally, in a free fight which I'm loving right now, I love my cams to overlap the strikers and make those runs in behind. So my striker kind of peels off. I love those balls in behind. Um, defenses. <laughs> and fast order run on. And my um, cams to actually finish the chances. Hence why I did use a hunter on him. So those high little workers come in handy. Six foot two. Uh, of course, with that, you think he's going to be... Uh, I don't know, kind of slow in turning, kind of rigid in his movements, but it's actually not that bad, especially with 87 agility. Uh, Four-star combo to boot as well. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. Now, you look at his cards, and honestly, there isn't too much wrong about his card right there that you guys can possibly see. You probably look at his balance at 82. It's not that bad. 75 strength is an issue for the card, but he is very combat and can win the ball back. Uh, jumping doesn't matter. There's another glaring... Um, Con in there. If you guys can see it, I'll give you guys a cookie. But, um, yeah, it's a stamina, lads. Stamina. Now, it's not going to be depleted too, too much. But if he's constantly running forward and getting into positions, his stamina will deplete. And if this is going for, I don't know, into extra time in foot champions or something like that, you're going to want to sub him off, which is quite unfortunate because he's a really effective player. He's got 81 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, plus 10 in both of those due to uh, me using the Hunter Camp style, which I would suggest if you're going to play him calm. Because, again... For him to bomb beyond the strikers and get those chances, great, crazy. If you want to play more as like a central midfielder, a little bit of a deep lying playmaker sort of thing, maybe an engine is best to your abilities and that's sort of finisher or something like that. But honestly, Hunter works for me, so I will say that recommended camp style will be Hunter. He's got 80 attack and position with high low workers, comes in clutch, 83 finishing. Plus 10 to 93, shot power is through the roof at 93, long shots 88, volleys 93, penalties 87. So he's finishing category, looks stacked, and actually performs to that as well. His passing is nuts. Now you look at the passing, and then you look at the player of Udeski on Sergio Busquets. He's got better passing than Busquets um, in a lot of different areas. Night nice Vision, of course, he's got the free kicks and stuff like that, hence why his passing stat is higher than the key on uh, the base card stat. It's it's 90 overall. Uh, he's got 90 vision, 95 short pass, and 85 long pass. With 91 kip as well, so you can bend it in behind defences. Uh, dribbling 87 agility, 82 bounce, 80 reactions, 95 ball control, with 90 dribbling, and a key stat as well, 90 composure, which is all important to be controls, uh, kind of composing for the goal. Basically, composure, what I've been kind of told in the past, is the pressure put on you. So the circle around him, he's not as prone to errors. It's very it's very complex to explain composure, but you can just imagine like an imaginary circle around him and that circle getting bigger as the composure goes up. So he's, his room for error isn't that much. Uh, as you can see by his traits, he's got flare energy prone, but in terms of the physical statistics, he's got 80 stamina. It's not that good. Sing 5 strength, it's not that good. Especially when he's 6 foot 2 as well, you can get pushed off the ball quite easily. But he's compatible with 81 aggression. And lads, let's see what he's like in game. This is Javier Pastore. So on we go in to the gameplay for Javier Pastore. Now Pastore has always been one of those players that's never been amazing in FIFA. Simple as that, never been amazing in FIFA. Now this card is effective in FIFA. You've seen his debut right there. The dribble is close to his body. The, the kind of burst that he was doing, he was catching them. So again, 
He's very capable of doing that, and his finishing is exquisite. Hence why he's a very useful card in this game, not just because of his finishing, because of the entire package he offers. He's very creative on this game. Not every shot's going to go in, I will showcase that over the course of this review. Some long shots, some finesse shots, some chances inside the box. It's not all going to go in. That's the same with any player in this game. That's why 99 is a staff for the reason, because there is room for error. This one's from range. It's a great save by my nan. I'm not talking about my nan, I'm talking about his nan. My nan on the page. His nan? What the hell am I on about? But, um, yeah, there's a lot of things that make up this guy and make him available for your team. In terms of, like, the sense of being a useful, imperative player to your setup, Cam. For me, he's not only a Cam and a Cam only. Can he play as an outside Cam? I reckon yes. Uh, Ram and Lamb, definitely. I don't think you can play as a wide player, but Ram and Dam, Ram and Dam, Ram and Lamb without a shadow of a doubt. In terms of why he's effective in the Cam role, let me explain. He's creative, very creative. His passion is perfect every time, which links the one twos, which links the through balls. His ball control is utterly class, which I can only attribute to his, well, ball control being 95 and dribbling 90, and also his agility too, because he's very fluid on it. Lovely flick there, good volley, it's a great save by Joe Hart on that certain occasion. Uh, his positioning, perfect. He's always in space, and I love that about the cards. As I flick it up there, hit on the volley yet again, so another great save by Joe Hart, sipping it around the post. But again, He's another a very effective player in this game. He's quite piercy. His acceleration isn't all that. It's 81. But that's, he's a very piercy player in this game. And look at that. Give and go. And he gets in the box. And it's a nice little finish by Pastore at the near post. So when it comes to finishing inside the area, this guy can do it. He can do it. Just give him a chance. And uh, he can definitely play for your club in, in a lot of different senses of the words. Creativity-wise, dribbling-wise, pace-wise, and certain aspects, especially the top speed, which is phenomenal. Especially with Hunter, it goes to 97. It is very, very good. And when you're six foot two, uh, you get those long legs. And when I say you get those long legs, you get bigger strides on the ball. Look at that. That guy was scared. Took the finish. Took the pressure off the game. Bent in the back of the net. And uh, he does win that game. Did he win that game? I think it was like 59th minute. I think I, think I won that game as... Um, and that was the strike that won it too. So that'll be the last clip that you do see in the review. You're going to be talking a, a little bit more in the summary about the cards. Well, that's, I was impressed. So basically, he's not just SBC fodder. But that's, what is he? I think the answer to what is he is good. He's good. He's a good player on this game. And now not many people are going to give him a chance. Because he doesn't suit certain aspects of the the... The almighty meta. Let's call it the almighty meta because everyone lives and dies by the meta on FIFA 21. It shouldn't be the way the game is. I, I've always been an advocate of using who you enjoy, using who you like. And if you're like a Roma fan, snap this guy up. Get him in your team. You want the best possible Argentinian team in this game? He probably won't make that, to be honest. But like a past and present or something like that. Uh, PSG. Who did he play for before? Was it Palermo? I'm not too sure, lads. But... You want players like this in your club, man. He's it, a good player on this game. And if you don't like him and he doesn't suit the meta, he doesn't suit your team, you want to save some coins, he's an 89 rated card. Statistic. Basically, a statistic. To be a statistic in your team. I can't even say that word sometimes. To be a statistic in your team. What I mean by this is get him, have him in your team, an SBC comes along that you enjoy, stick him in it. Simple as that. No questions asked. But... I don't believe he's just SPC food. I reckon he's a very usable card in this game that not many people's going to use. And he's got great links as well. You look at the Serie A, you've got El Shilawi flashback. You've got, well, that's from Roma, of course, a strong link into El Shilawi. You've got Ansaldi. You use Ansaldi right back today. That's a strong link into Ansaldi. You've got Paolo Dybala, who, for me, one of the best cards in the game. Dybala's nuts. Absolutely bonkers at times. Um, I think for the overall rating, there is room for improvement in this card. There is... Certain things that you could do better, which it goes without saying, lads. I'm going to go through the content in just a second. But, um, yeah, I reckon he's a good card, man. 8.7 is a fair rating for the card, and he's sticking to that 8.7. The value for time, I will give a Yavi a Pastore. It takes longer than normal cards because you've got to get so many wins, so many games played. But, um, yeah, 9.6. I'm very happy with completing this guy. Not only because if I want to stick my SPC, he's there. He's an 89 rated card. I could possibly get an icon or something like that. But, lads, he's a good player. He's a very usable one at that. In terms of enjoyment, 9.3, he brought more enjoyment in terms of what he was pulling off on the pitch than his abilities, which is kind of reflected in the rating, right? 9.3 to 8.7. Four-star combo, four-star skills, four-star. We've had high to low work rates, which is phenomenal, especially for those attackers that you do want to base beyond the strikers. I was going to say attackers again. Uh, in terms of traits, he's got flair and injury prone. The injury prone, not so much. Flair is a very good trait to have, especially when you've got... 
87 agility, 95 ball control, 90 dribble. It's a great trait to have. Uh, for Chelsea, would be a starter. I don't think... Well, actually, he would make an impact on off the bench. But uh, I'd rather start this guy than bench him. If that makes sense. Uh, Pastry's going to get an 8. 8 for shooting, 8 for dribbling, and 7 for physical. Which just goes to show how well-rounded Javier Pastore, a guy that will probably never get a chance in pros teams or anything like that. Because... Meta, 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 meta. But um, honestly, just give him a try, lads. Give him a try. Shot power 93. Uh, that is a pro, of course. His shot power is nuts at times. And the finesse is really accurate, too. Uh, passing is definitely up there because he's very creative. And he can definitely play a pass and spray a pass. Uh, dribbling, ball control, four star combo, top speed uh, are amongst his pros. The cons being the strength 75. He does get pushed off the ball, but to counteract that, he's got the aggression in the back and stamina. I don't think he'll last a foot champs extra time game. That's just my personal opinion. Some of players would be probably someone like Julian Brandt's 88 rating. I mean, if you look at like someone like a Julian Brandt, guys, um, his price on the market for that card is 140k. This card's free, and he's one higher rated. And arguably, he's got some better stats in certain areas too. Uh, Brandt's got 41 aggression, lads. 41 aggression. Uh, in terms of the recommended links, I've been over quite a few of them already from Saudi, uh, the Argentinian links within that league. You've got Korea as well if you want to link him into Korea. Um, I'm not too sure he's got any perfect links at uh, Roma, to be honest. But if he does, there's no strong perfect links like uh, a usable play in champs. Let's just have a little look for you guys right now. Perfect links, uh, Perotti and Fazio, but... Honestly, Fazio's got 33 pace. I like to see you use that in champs. Unless you're doing a challenge. Challenges are fun. But that's, honestly, he's a very good card. Very linkable. And uh, you see Play of the Month Messi there. I swear to God, guys. If you ask about Messi in the comments after one second of the video go live, I'll not do anything. I'll just respond. But lads, in terms of Messi, the reason I, why I haven't done a Messi is because he take a large chunk out of my club. I'm not leading with coins on this account. And... Honestly, I've done the team in the year. Uh, I've reviewed the team in the year. I know what Messi's capable of. And I know that card will be good. There's no doubt about it. But when it comes down to the price of the SBC, it's a very, very good price. It's just it takes a large chunk out of my coins where I could review like 25 players to review one. That is the only reason I haven't done it right now. Uh, maybe other reviewers have done it. Maybe other players have used him. Personally, me, I don't think I'm going to do him as of this moment insane but who knows what the future holds um i honestly i, I don't know how people do it uh, i don't know how people would do every single spc on the game all together claim to not spend fifa points and then review every oh, it's bizarre to me review every promo card too it's just impossible at times but that's just gonna be it for the review thank you very much for watching today i hope this has given you an insight into yavi pastori even i'll drop a like on the review and Push this review out, so I don't know. Does that even work anymore? Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you had a great day, lads. Um, I, I will get a moment's reviews out tomorrow. We'll start with uh, Rui Costa in the morning. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you all next time.